Hey there and welcome back to Suhi Speaks and today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that is yet to come out but I was one of the lucky few to get an early glimpse of it. It is Gran Turismo, a game that actually came to real life for those who are not aware and only know of the game. This is a similar game that actually was made from the creator's vision where they wanted to simulate real racing so the gamer the person that's playing it at home gets to feel what the racer feels not the whole g-force aspect but the shifting the turns the car the dynamics you get to feel the tracks you get to feel what racing fundamentals are all about and that translated into this epic inspirational story that we're going to get it started with is going to contain few spoilers but the spoilers are nothing that are going to ruin the movie because you will easily be able to predict this movie as it is a straightforward story that is already out it is a true story it's based off a true story is based off Jan who is a professional racer who also does the stunts for this movie so make sure you like and subscribe and now we get started on Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is directed by Neil Blomkamp. He is famous for directing other good sci-fi fantasy movies like District 9. He's known to do extraordinary films, something out of this realm, out of this mindset, something future, rebellion type. So him taking on this role was kind of surprising. You wouldn't expect somebody that has done that type of genre and directed those type of movies to take this but I think he did such a fantastic job I felt like I was watching a video game especially there were moments with Jan where he was doing things in his life before he was actually going to GT Academy and he was escaping cops early on he's a bit, he got pulled over when he went to partying with his brother and his friend and he is like I'm not gonna miss out the opportunity to do a race uh, tomorrow and you see him calculate the um, how to ride how to drive and when he <laughs> invades the cops a trophy like in a video game when you play a sony or playstation game you receive these trophies so it felt like a video game and i think neil captured it very nicely right from the beginning you are introduced to three characters and the story revolves around three characters would be the dad would be david harbour who is jack salter who becomes the chief engineer uh, and you have Archie who's playing Jan the whole story is about Jan you see Jan he is a gamer he loves Gran Turismo he knows he's the best at it and his dad doesn't believe in it his dad is a famous soccer player he played for a club and he wants to have his sons follow the same dream so he thinks playing video games is uh, not a dream it cannot be real and I've gotten this my entire life where old school parents do not understand the new generation and what it can possibly be because they didn't have these possibilities right now the possibilities are endless especially if you could dream it it can happen this movie is an example this is a very inspirational movie where Jan just a video gamer is invited to GT Academy. This is where Orlando Bloom comes in. He is the marketing head for Nissan. And he is partnering up with Gran Turismo because the maker of Gran Turismo is so confident and proud of his creation. Simulates real tracks and driving experience. And that any gamer that actually has the knowledge or the gaming experience can do this on the track and you see that idea try to come to life and you have even Jack Salter who after endless people said no to Orlando Bloom and this idea Salter who comes who's sick and tired of just being a mechanic he used to be a racer and you find out later what happened it's more so like a redemption story for Jack as well as Jan as well as Orlando Bloom who plays uh, Danny Moore so it's a good story from a lot of aspects. You have Jack Salter who gets 10 of the best gamers for Gran Turismo from 8 countries. And he's like, you're not going to make it. He doesn't believe anything, especially in Jan. And then there's a moment where Jan is driving and he tries to brake and the brakes don't work. And he keeps saying, I braked, I braked. They didn't work. They were graced, glazed, graced. Uh, and he's like, how could you know that you're just a gamer? 
he was right. And he goes, listen, we've been doing this. We know what components go into the car and what makes good cars. We've been driving for the longest time. The strength of the movie is the fact that Jan has to prove not only to his dad, he has to prove it to the world that a simulator, a gamer can become a real life racer it's insane to think about it. it is so crazy but the shots especially of the racing from the gt academy all the way up into jan trying to get his license everything was great i mean the thrill was there the the movie is straightforward you could predict every single aspect it's like an underdog story and you know there's gonna be a little issues there's a little romance there with him and this girl audrey cute couple you see them having young love i like the music in the club when they actually were together together uh it was nice i like the orlando bloom selling point he's like this 80 million grand turismo players that could be the future of buying cars and stuff and i think the car genre is that fast and furious probably killed it too but this was really well done where when you are seeing jan race on the track his placement and how he's taking over and what his thought process is and how he's going against the grain really well done and there is an issue where it happens where Jan has to choose between racing and life and stuff. It's going to be conflict. I don't know how true that is to the story. This is based on a true story, but they probably added it for dramatic purposes. Maybe a lot of stuff. I don't know how much of it is actually accurate. But kudos to the entire cast. Kudos to the entire production. Kudos to the director. The sets were awesome. The shots were great. There were some drone shots that I felt were incomplete. I wanted to see more of like crazy racing. I think we got that. But what was missing from this movie was probably a true antagonist. You get Matt, was it Matty Davis uh, in the GT Academy. Uh, Jan Cruz buys him, and then you get um, Nick from Kappa, and you want him to be the antagonist, but I don't feel like they got enough of a story. It was just like I felt they were just thrown as two people when there's so many other people racing at the same time. I don't understand why it was only these two, so I really didn't feel like this movie had an antagonist. It was a very straightforward movie, very inspirational. It is something that you can predict, but at the same time when you're watching it, you have the anxiety, you have the thrill, you want to cheer. It's such a good story, and it's nothing like he finishes on top of everything it's just to make it into a place where people say you don't belong and you crush it you make your dreams come true this is such a good movie for the dreamers for the gamers this movie was made for us as a gamer i love it this is something i could be like listen it doesn't matter if you need to go to school it doesn't matter about anything like that there is a possibility it's not like one in ten but there is a possibility and it can happen more in the future where if you do something you love it can happen it could be created and i really like how jan was able to break all these traditional stereotypes make his way all the way get a contract from nissan get a license and finish Third in the Le Mans, which is a 24-hour race, biggest race in the whole entire world. And it was really nice how they played Le Mans into the whole story, how it was like redemption for Jack Salter. It was really nicely done. And so the biggest uh, line in the movie that actually got me a little choked up, you see him racing at over 362 miles an hour in rain is nuts and i'm just like oh my god this is so dangerous jan keeps saying when he's racing at that speed it's like the whole world slows down it's just magic like everything just makes sense and i'm not a racer these guys have the talent to slow down time going that fast you are basically going at a g-force stronger than how astronauts lift off but the best line in the movie you're not a sim racer anymore you're the best in the world it was so nice that it got me choked up i really enjoyed this movie from start to finish it felt like it just never stopped 
It never got his foot off the pedal. I give this a solid 8 out of 10. I am deducting the two scores because I didn't think it had an antagonist to make this more exciting. It, it was very straightforward and it went straight to the point and I really enjoyed it. It's something I can watch again and still enjoy. It's not a must watch movie. It's not something this extraordinary thing. Yes, it's a true story. It deserves all the credit. But again, it's very predictable. Uh, as a gamer, I loved it. I could rate it a little higher. But, you know, I have some quarrels with this. But I'm not going to get into it. I enjoyed this. I am so glad AMC got me to see this movie early. I hope you check it out. I hope this review helped. Maybe you might go check it out. Are you a gamer? Are you a Gran Turismo fan? Are you going to go see this movie? Make sure you comment below. Like and subscribe. I'm Suhi. I will catch you next time. Bye.